In this module, you will learn to identify and combine mathematical statements. Let's look at some sentences. Mumbai is the capital of Maharashtra. 2 is an odd number. He is a good batsman. Can you see the truth value of these sentences? We know that Mumbai is the capital of Maharashtra. And thus, this sentence is true. The second sentence, 2 is an odd number, is false. Let's consider the third sentence. Here, the information is not sufficient to say whether this sentence is true or false. Here the word, he, is uncertain. Even if we know the batsman, it is not sufficient to decide whether he is a good batsman. This again depends on the perception of a person. It means that the given sentence is ambiguous. The first two sentences have truth values and there is no ambiguity. Mathematically, such sentences are called statements. A sentence is called a mathematically acceptable statement if it is either true or false. Let's look at more sentences and justify their truth values. In these sentences, the first two sentences are true, while the third and fourth sentences are false. In the last sentence, it is not certain to say how far Hyderabad is from another place unless it is mentioned. Therefore, the first four sentences are statements. Hyderabad's distance is different from different places. Thus, this sentence is not a statement. Usually, mathematical statements are denoted by lowercase letters like P, Q, R, S, and so on. The statements that you saw here are very short and cannot be broken into smaller statements. These are called simple statements. Let's consider the statements given. Statement P is 2 is an even number. Statement Q is 2 is not an even number. Do you notice any relation between the two statements? Statement P is true, while statement Q is the denying statement P. This implies that statement Q is false. Such a statement is called the negation of a statement. The denial of a statement is called the negation of the statement. If P is a statement, then the negation of P is also a statement. And is denoted by a tilde symbol followed by the statement name. This is read as not P. If the truth value of P is true, then the truth value of not P is false and vice versa. Next, we'll frame some negations of given statements. Remember, we commonly use phrases like it is not the case or it is false that while forming the negation of a statement. The negation of P is either it is not the case that 5 is an odd number or it is false that 5 is an odd number. In other words, it can be written as 5 is not an odd number. Many a times, we come across simple statements that we need to combine into a single statement. Such statements are called compound statements. A mathematical statement obtained by combining one or more simple statements using some connecting words like and, or, etc. is called a compound statement. Generally, we use the words and, or, and so on to connect simple statements. Let's consider the statement 5 is both an odd and a prime number. This statement tells us that 5 is an odd number and 5 is a prime number and that they are connected with the word AND. The simple statements that form the compound statement are called component statements. 
Let's combine the given statements using the word R. The compound statement obtained is X is either a rational number or an irrational number.